Dear friends, the universe is full of unlimited energy that can create life. Every day we witness new life being born and destruction happening. And while our Earth is only a small planet in the universe, our solar system is also insignificant compared to the universe's size. It is hard to believe that all the universe's energy could exist only on Earth when we have not been able to find answers to this question despite years of research. However, we hope that the presence of life on many other planets is a possibility, and that is why we continue our search. Scientists believe that Mars is the most likely candidate for life beyond Earth. Some scientists claim that life arrived on Earth by traveling from Mars. Therefore, it is possible that there was or will be the presence of life on many other planets, and that is why the search continues. In this video, we will discuss whether there was ever life on Mars and how and when it was destroyed. We urge you to stay until the end of the video. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe now to join us in this great discovery. Water plays a vital role in supporting life. Our Earth was formed from the explosion of a star, and Mars was formed soon after. Billions of years ago, Mars moved from the Sun to the place immediately after Earth. Mars was much smaller than Earth, and its distance from the Sun was greater. As a result, its temperature had started to balance according to life long before Earth. Oceans of clean water started to form on Mars, and only a few years ago, scientists who went on a space mission found evidence of water there. Scientists believe that water exists on Mars, in the form of a lake in the southern polar icy area, spread over an area of about 20 kilometers, with water present about 1 kilometer below its icy surface. Millions of years ago, microscopic bacteria started taking birth in the oceans of Mars, as happened with Earth. However, Mars did not have enough time to generate large organisms, as it was destroyed by a massive asteroid collision. The energy released from the impact was equivalent to hundreds of nuclear bombs, and a crater was formed that could have covered the upper part of Mars, destroying it completely. Due to this collision, debris was blown into space, which is considered the source of origin of life on Earth. It is believed that life on Mars was destroyed due to the collision, as every planet has its magnetic field that protects it from the dangerous radiation of the solar system. The magnetic field of Mars would have been severely damaged, and parts would have been broken, making it very hot due to the spread of radiation. As a result, the bacteria present would have been destroyed. There are innumerable volcanoes on Mars, with Mount Olympus of Mars being three times higher than the peak of Everest. Small round stones were found on Mars, which are formed by being in contact with continuously flowing water. Due to the heat of these volcanoes, the water there came out in the form of vapor, due to which clouds started gathering there, and the temperature was somewhat controlled. Life again received support after a long time. However, due to the great distance from the sun, the water there was completely frozen in the form of ice, and Mars came in the grip of extreme cold, and the rain cycle ended on Mars, pushing flourishing life towards its end. On Earth, things have started to become very favorable. The gravitational force of our maternal Uncle Moon helps the Earth to stay in the right position. Due to this, weather cycles have started on Earth. However, the conditions on Mars are opposite. Both of its satellites are small enough to not control Mars, but Earth's satellite, the Moon, is perfect in its proportion, which keeps it inclined at a certain angle. We can see winter heat and seasonal changes in a short time. If the Moon were not there, life on Earth would end too. One special thing that has allowed life to flourish on Earth for a long time instead of Mars is the distance of the Earth from the Sun, which is absolutely suitable for life at the time of the creation of the universe. Even though this proximity because life was impossible and life flourished on Mars, but as time passed, Earth found the right temperature instead of Mars. After a certain point, the temperature of Earth stopped falling due to which our existence is not limited to only bacteria. As it was said, large creatures flow. It took a very long time to get that full time in the condition of the Earth, and the existence of many species was possible. In the beginning, 
When the Earth did not have its own ozone layer, then the radiation was very high, and the existence of organisms outside the sea was not possible. But such a large amount of bacteria and some organisms had been formed, which together started forming a substance, and they started producing oxygen by contact with the heat of the sun. Due to this unique phenomenon, much more oxygen was produced on Earth than on Mars. When oxygen came in contact with radiation, the molecules of O2 were broken down into ozone. Due to this, the Earth got the protective shield of the ozone layer and protection from the sun's ultraviolet rays and radiation, due to which the Earth's atmosphere became even better, and sea-dwelling life started inhabiting the Earth. These conditions for the flourishing of life had left Mars far behind. Now it was time for life on Earth to develop, and animals also started living. As we know, big species like dinosaurs also started living on Earth. But millions of years ago, a meteorite hit the Earth again, which again challenged life and destroyed many species. It changed the climate of the Earth again, and many species ended, but life survived to some extent and started the story of humans coming into existence, which you have always been hearing about. Due to this change, which lasted for about 60 million years, intelligent species like humans took birth and started using the available resources. Over time, of course, there are many planets in the universe that have not been discovered. Who knows if life is possible there? And who knows how many planets life has been limited to? On Earth, it has started, but will life continue like this on Earth too? We don't know when hell-like conditions will arise here too, and life will end, and another planet awaits us. What do you think about this? Please tell us by commenting. If you like the video, please like our channel, subscribe, and press the bell icon to stay connected with us. See you in the next video. Thank you.